Hello everyone, welcome to Homeo Vision. As you know, the new year is coming, so many of you will start new year resolution. This video is for the students who are preparing for 2025 a PGT exam. A small study guide to make your preparation better and reminding you all that time is running and exam will be soon. The exam date is expected at April or May, so only 4 months left for your entrance exam. This is the last year subject wise weightage. So the maximum marks are allotted to Metramedica, Organ and Repertory and Pharmacy of Homeopathic subjects and Medicine, Surgery, OBG and Community Medicine of Allied subjects. So there will be total 120 questions and 480 marks and each question carry 4 marks and negative marking will be present. If we see our daily routine, we will get nearly 10 to 12 hours to study properly. So I have divided the day in hours. In the morning 6 to 8 am 2 hours, 10 to 12 am 2 hours, 2 to 4 pm 2 hours, 5 to 8 pm 3 hours, 9 to 11 pm 2 hours. So totally we will get 12 hours to study properly. So what we should do in these 12 hours? Solve MCQs daily for 2 hours. In the morning 2 hours for revision. So what we should revise is what we have read in the yesterday and 2 minor repertories. Why 2 minor repertories? Because there are only 50 to 55 minor repertories present in the repertory subject and maximum 2 to 4 questions will be asked from those minor repertories. And remaining 1 hour for Metramedica remedies. Remaining 6 to 7 hours for other syllabus. So divide the subject according to your reading and understanding level. For example, I will give the example of medicine subject. So in medicine, we have to read CVS, respiratory system, hepatobiliary system, CNS, infection, hematology, kidney, endocrinology, nutritional and metabolic disorder, psychiatric disorder, pediatric and geriatric disorders. These are the major topics present in the medicine subject. So we have to divide these topics like how many days we can complete in a week. For example, CVS we can complete in 4 days. Respiratory system we can complete in 3 to 4 days like this. And we have to solve MCQs relating to that topic and subject. So I have made a small guide. So what we should read in a month. For example, in, in the month of January. So Metramedica and Organon are we have to read daily in every month and I have divided the three uh, major uh, repertories uh, Kent, BBCR, BTBB in like for example in the January month we have to read Kent repertory like this and we have to read minor repertories and in the month of January the medicine topics are CVS respiratory system, hepatobiliary system and endocrinology we have to complete and we have to solve MCQs daily and weekly test. So in the month of February, Metramedica and Organ and are compulsory. BTBB with rubrics we have to read. The medicine topics are CNS, Hematology, Nutritional and Metabolic Disorder, Kidney and Dermatology and Community Medicine and we have to solve MCQs and weekly test. In the month of March, Metramedica, Organon. In the Organon, we have to read philosophy part, for example, Kent philosophy. Next, repertory, BBCR with rubrics. Surgery, we have to complete the surgery topics. And pharmacy, MCQs and weekly test. In the month of April, Metramedica, Organon, we have to revise OBG and anatomy. Anatomy, there, will be, there are only small topics we have to read like main arteries, nerves, fractures and clinical anatomy part and the medicine part we have to revise well. MCQs and tests are compulsory. Some students are still in confusion whether doing MD is good or bad. So these are the some points why MD is necessary. For clinical experience of 
3 years if we get a government seat in government college we will have a numerous exposure to many patients many complicated cases we will get in government colleges so we will get a clinical experience of 3 years and for the government exams like medical officer post and for the lecturer post md is must and for research also md is necessary and some students have a, a passion of teaching so for the teaching experience we have to do md and the main base for financial support is stipend we will get nearly 30 to 40k every month in government colleges so these points are necessary help to do md so this is a small video to guide for your preparation and wishing you all a very healthy new year thank you study well and all the best thank you